The motto for the St. Genevieve Dragons last year was raise the standard, and that they did. After suffering their first losing season in 10 years in 2020, the Dragons went 7-4 under first-year head coach Jay Pope. Twelve players have graduated from that team, including first-team All-State offensive lineman Dale Probst, second-team All-State wide receiver Zach Boyer, and third-team All-State defensive back Clayton Squires. However, Coach Pope is confident in his team's ability to continue elevating the bar. We bring a lot of guys back, so just that growth, um, again, not staying stagnant, just reminding those guys that, yeah, you know, we finished a pretty okay season, but that doesn't mean anything for this season. Um, if we just rest on our laurels and think those three quarters against Valley is going to carry us into the next year, we're, we're wasting our own time. So just constantly preaching that, you know, we got to keep getting better every single day. And so far, these guys have embraced that. St. Genevieve's season ended at the hands of crosstown rival Valley Catholic in the first ever playoff edition of the Old Settlement Showdown. Though St. Genevieve provided the toughest challenge that Valley had faced up to that point of the season. The Dragons trailed by seven midway through the third quarter, but the second ranked team in the state pulled away for a 69 to 35 victory. Jay Pope sees that game as a springboard for this season, while knowing there is still much work to do. We felt like for three quarters, we were a really good football team. Um, you know, Valley ended up was probably the best, second best team in the state behind the St. Mary's team, which was loaded. Um, so anytime you can go toe to toe with a team like that for as long as we did, um, and then the wheels just kind of fell off there. But there's two ways to looking at it. Um, you know, we, we felt like we raised our standard last year and that was kind of the gauge of that. But on the flip side of that, we gave up 69 points. You know, we're trying to be the top team in the state and uh, you can't give up 69 points. And, and be in that top tier. So we look at it like it was a good gauge of progress, but we're still not where we want to be. Um, so more than anything, we're, we're using it to drive this season as far as we've improved, but it's not where we're, we're not to our final destination yet. So we're going to keep working every day. And, you know, we, big emphasis on defense was, you know, we were pretty good last year, but at the end of the day, we gave up a lot of dang points to a lot of really good teams. So we need to find a way to fix it. The Dragons gave up 25 points per game last season but that number ballooned to just over 45 in their four losses. Five starters return on that side of the ball. Mason Nix is back at safety, and Caden Fly will move from safety to outside linebacker. I'm still learning some new things, but most of the stuff isn't really new because I've practiced with linebackers and everything before. I kind of pretty much know my routine to do, so it's not that bad. Jacob Johns is back at middle linebacker with the most tackles of any returning player on the team. He's there to answer any questions that Fly or the younger linebackers have. Any concept that he doesn't know, I try to help him. I have to learn like the whole defense, basically. So if kid has a question, you can always ask me about something. If it's in the run game, in the pass game, anything he needs help with, I'm always there for him. Whenever it's like in the season, I spend an hour maybe each day looking over playbooks, plays, etc. But whenever it's like our formations, usually I can get it off, off the rip. So it's not that hard for me. On the defensive line, Anthony Bader and Landon Thompson return, as well as Will Vaughn. At six foot six and 200 pounds, Vaughn led the team in tackles for loss and forced fumbles last season. He's hoping to raise his standard this fall. My self goal, I want to add one more patch to my Leatherman. I want to be a, a All-State DN. That's the one goal I've set for myself, for the goal, for the team district's champs. That's what I've had in my back of my mind since last year. On the other side of the ball, quarterback Aiden Boyer returns with plenty of experience. His senior year will mark his third as a starter. Last year, Boyer threw for 35 touchdowns against six interceptions, though he's still fine-tuning his game. Just, you know, being kind of more confident, maybe uh, stepping up in the pocket a little bit more. Uh, you know, last year, throwing on the run, I wasn't the, the best at, so I've kind of been, you know, working on that and just, you know, trying to get better every single day. A seasoned quarterback running the show makes things easier for the coaches. Especially for Coach Bosler calling our uh, offense. You know, he knows that he doesn't have to get the perfect play in because Aiden's going to be able to check into it or get the guys doing what they're supposed to do. Um, and again, just having that experience out there on offense. Um, after a player, after a series, Aiden's always great about coming about what he saw compared to what we're seeing, and then working with him to get in the, something great for the next series. And you know that just comes with his commitment to 
you know, wanting to win. You know, it's not just football. Every sport you watch Aiden in, he's going to compete. And um, anytime you have a guy like that leading your program out on the field, it's, it's definitely a positive. The graduation of Aiden's cousin, Zach, along with his nearly 1,100 receiving yards and 21 touchdowns will be difficult to replace. Caden Fly will handle a bigger role. He racked up over 450 yards and seven touchdowns through the air last season. He'll fill that role for us, the uh, slot receiver. Um, he's had a really good offseason, so we think he can fill Zach's shoes. I know they're big shoes to fill, but um, he's definitely capable of doing it. Wyatt Spring Camper is in the mix for more touches as well. The junior recorded over 700 all-purpose yards last year. Other players will make their mark as the season goes. And we got uh, Aiden Meyer, Tucker Reed, he might play a little bit of our tight end, and we got some extra guys that uh, can fill those roles if we need it. In the trenches are a veteran group of linemen with four starters returning, Bader, Thomas PQ, Nathan Johnson, and Dalton McBride. Even with the departure of Dale Probst, the Dragons are in good hands up front. First team All-State lineman. Um, he was the first one we've had in uh, over a decade, uh, so we're definitely going to miss him. But we bring back those other four spots, and we bring back two or three other guys that started at least two games. So we feel like that depth there at offensive line will be uh, a strength for us, and, and we know we can rotate those guys to keep them fresh on, on defense as much as possible. A long journey awaits. One Jay Pope doesn't mind. Um, you know, hopefully we're still playing in December, but again, it's one week at a time. As long as we're better um, the following week than we were the previous week, we'll be happy with it. And as long as these guys, again, our goal as a program is to make sure these guys are better off as young men for having played football for St. Genevieve High School than they were if they had not. So, um, you know, all those life lessons along the way, all that adversity and growth and, you know, personal change throughout the way is what matters the most. And um, at the end of the year, if we can say these guys had fun, enjoyed each other's company and built some relationships, it'll be worth it. The Dragons quest begins on August 26th at home versus Festus. That's followed by another game at home against Afton. Week three takes the Dragons to Orchard Farm before returning for their homecoming versus Fredericktown. St. Jen goes to Park Hills on September 23rd, then battle the Potosi Trojans at home in week six. The Old Settlement Showdown takes place at Valley Catholic on October 7th. The following game is at Jefferson, and the Dragons complete the regular season at home against Kelly. With Regional Radio Sports, I'm Griffin Weinberg.